Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I'm here with Rudolph Buchholz. Did I get it right? You got it. And we are at the VFW number 7119. Got it. Yes, okay. sir. I'm two for two uh, in Indianapolis. And he has started, with the help of others, we'll talk about that, a project to bring disc golf onto the facility for veterans. And we started talking about it. He was showing me this beautiful course out here. And I thought we need to record this. This is cool stuff. So tell me what you're doing. So my veteran post is very interested in providing as many services to local veterans as possible. And the one that we really want to provide is like healthy activities for a lifetime. And disc golf fits that perfectly. We are blessed to have 25 acres and we decided to put a disc golf course into it. And disc golf is therapy is a no-brainer. It makes so much sense. It's a fun sport, easy to learn, and very affordable, low barriers of entry. Mm -hmm. We love it. So I was telling you a story earlier. It's one of the many, like, you know, thousands of great stories I have from the sport. Uh, but it was at, uh, I ran an event, it was a Blue Power event, but I ran an event out in Eastern Kentucky. And I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the person's name. I posted at the time about this, but there was a soldier that came back from Afghanistan who had a traumatic brain injury. And he, he came back with a disability and he came back with the, uh, some of the personal issues that also come with, well, A, from serving that can happen, but also he returned to a life as a disabled person, which meant things at home were no longer what they used to be. And this course he played was, he took up disc golf, it was out in the woods. And he said to me, with no irony or sarcasm in his voice, he says, I don't kill myself because I go out and play disc golf every day. And this is my time to gather my thoughts and have some peace to myself. And like you said, for us to play disc golf, like we know it's therapeutic, we know it's good for us. But to, to have it put so bluntly, I'm not trying to ever hurt in those words. I mean, he literally says, I don't kill myself because I can disc golf every day. And your experience with veterans is, was it similar? I mean, the experiences, I mean. Yeah, um, so sometimes VFWs have a reputation of just being a bar. And we want to show that we're much more than that. And uh, golf has a big history with the military and disc golf is such a wonderful version of golf where it's lower barriers of entry, easier to learn, low cost, you can just come out, no skill to play. So it's easier to introduce people to get outdoors, walk around, and you don't have to be in super great shape. You don't have to have all the mobility and skills that you had when you were younger. So veterans that do have slight disabilities are able to come out and thoroughly enjoy the property. And yeah, it's in the woods, it's in the nature. Um, they can also, even if they don't want to play disc golf, just walk out and enjoy the trails. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the non-disc golfing partners have something to see and do when they're out here. Um, they're not they're not stuck on a ball golf course, which I don't think it's as interesting, I'm sorry, for, for just walking through the woods as we have it. So how did the course get started? I mean, you just, you didn't just have the funding to drop the course in the ground, it was a process. Yeah, so we were very interested in it and I kind of at first thought it was just be build it as we go, like as we get funding, maybe we build a couple holes now and then. Um, but then I was very fortunate to get in touch with Jerry Suter and the Indianapolis Disc Golf Club, uh, Kevin Gillian and Quinn. And we really got the things ball rolling on fundraising and then we made a partnership with the state of Indiana. The Indiana uh, Community Housing Authority had a program where if you could raise funds, the state would match. So we did a campaign. We were able to raise $12,000. They kicked in an additional $12,000. So we got $24,000. Um, and we've been building ever since. It's been an incredible uh, year and a half of construction. And mm -hmm. we have 10 holes that are done, that are tournament ready and we'll have eight more holes done 
hopefully this year. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a project out here. This is, uh, I mean, it's a perfect piece of land because it's, like you said, it's off in the woods. It's off, um, I think, where it, it, it should be. <laughs> it's, it's private, it's, it's quiet, um, but it, it definitely is like, this is a project out here. This is not, you just don't drop the baskets in these woods and then throw at it. Correct. Yeah, um, we've been very lucky with our course designer, Jerry Suter, who's designed the number one course in Indiana, Brown County Country Club. Um, he happens to live nearby, so he's out here all the time. We have a great crew of volunteers that are out here and work all the time. And that's another big benefit of this course is the VFW and veterans are now making friends with the disc golf community. And these are guys we never would have met. Mm -hmm. And now they know us, we know them. Um, so if we have other events going on, they come and participate in them. And if they have stuff going on, we can support them. Um, so it's this really nice way of connecting these two communities that otherwise never would have had a connection. And uh, that's something I'm also very excited about. Um, Jerry's a regular at the post now. And at first mm -hmm. people were very intimidated to go in there. Like, are we allowed to come here and stuff like that? Um, and now he has several friends in there. That's great. Now the course is, servicing players with different levels of abilities but this course here is a bit of a challenge with certain disabilities right i mean we're in rolling hills in the woods are you doing things to try to make that more accessible as yeah. best as possible we're making it as accessible as possible um over here we have really nice stairs that we've put in i know a lot of people mm -hmm. i'm used to playing at disc golf courses where it's kind of like rough and rumble <laughs> and you just kind of right. got to scramble a bit um where we can we're putting in um, steps if, if you don't uh, we're not sure our standard is like state park quality if you would see uh, stairs handrails everywhere um, and then we also have a section of the course that's up by the parking lot that will be more accessible um, maybe not wheelchair but that that's a whole level um, and so uh, one thing I would encourage you to do is that you desk is introducing a program which is unbelievable it's so cool where they're giving designations are they uh, they're allowing you to designate courses which is wheelchair they're calling it wheelchair friendly I think cane friendly which just means um, it's easier to get around but not necessarily wheelchair friendly that's a whole different level and then I'll, they're of course open to everyone and what's great what you disc is allowing for is when someone comes to Indianapolis and they want to play but let's say they're not in a wheelchair but they have harder time getting on they just might be older mm -hmm. uh, but they don't have to drive to a course and go oh yeah I can't play that course like I, they can actually look and see oh this is a course that's accessible for me so if you work with them I think that that would be a huge plus yeah that's thank you for letting me know about it we're definitely yeah you'll know about it for sure you just because you just does more things that are just you know they don't brag about everything they do actually they just do things that are cool so yeah I'm a big fan so what are the long-term plans? Uh, long-term? After the 18th, 18th holes in the ground, do um, you have plans? Love to do a lot of disc golf events and tournaments. Uh, we plan on doing tournaments that are themed. Uh, so we'll have like a Air Force tournament. We'll have a Marines tournament where you're only allowed to use like three discs because they're known for doing more with less. Um, we'll mm -hmm. have different layouts for different branches of the military. Um, we've also talked about doing uh, different types of events where you don't have to, you, there's multiple ways of winning. So if mm -hmm. you shoot like your personal best out here, then, you know, that's a way of winning. It'll be recognized in the post. Mm -hmm. um, also, like if you make par on a certain layout, that'll be like graduating from like basic training, stuff like that. Okay. Um, that's so cool. I love everything about this. Well, where, where, can, uh, where can people follow you? VFW7119.org is our main webpage and we keep it up to date. There's a link to the disc golf part of it. We also are on Facebook, VFW 7119, Veterans of Foreign Wars 7119 on Facebook. Um, those are our two main places. We keep them up to date. We do a lot of stuff. Uh, we had a big eclipse party out here, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, we have an orchestra coming out and having a musical performance for us this Thursday. Um, the Rotary does events out here all the time. Uh, on Wednesdays, we have classic cars in the parking lot that like to pull up next to our tank and take pictures and stuff. Yeah. So we're trying to do a lot of stuff 
around the post, stay busy. We have line dancing every Monday night. Um, yeah, check us out. We got a lot going on. That's, I love it. So this is the idea, y'all. Disc golf is for everybody, absolutely. Uh, some people want disc golf. Other people, you could maybe say, need disc golf. Yes. A lot of them don't know they need it yet until they discover it. Then they realize they needed it the whole time. So uh, help spread the word, help bring disc golf to people that otherwise wouldn't uh, have access to it. Man, good job on everything you're doing. Thank you so much for your interest. Um, yeah, we love it. It's a passion and we're excited to share it with everybody. Yeah, and you do a good interview too, by the way. You, you projected, he's very soft-spoken. And I said, I said, you have to not be soft-spoken for the next 10 minutes. And you said you could do your... I your, could sound off. You could see, do the sound off voice. All right, so you pulled it off. Good job. Hey, all right, thanks everybody. Oh, well, real quick, I'm sorry. Go to my Discord server, scottstokely.net forward slash Discord. There's a section in there called, uh, it's adaptive disc golf. And adaptive just means for everybody that is outside of just traditional disc golf. So that includes uh, veterans with disabilities as well as anyone else that we've adapted the game for. And uh, participate in the conversation and let's help this thing keep growing. All right, thanks everyone.